Hello, this is Max Williams, and today I am in South Richmond. We're actually in the Belmont Road corridor here in a very quiet uh, area of South Richmond. This home uh, that we're going to take a look at here momentarily is only about four years old. Uh, it is a government-owned home and shows very, very nicely. Uh, as you can see, the homes here in the block are very well kept. Uh, you would never know that you were inside the city limits of Richmond here. It definitely has a much more suburban feel uh, here at this location. Uh, as you can see, this home does sit up uh, nicely on this hill. And um, one thing I was thinking about when I pulled up is in the wintertime, it probably would be a good idea to be extra careful on this incline. And um, you don't want to have any unpleasant surprises. Uh, it's also great working out your glutes and your calves coming up and down so uh, exercise is always a good thing okay we're gonna go on up and take a look here uh, one thing that I really was surprised at is uh, the home actually smells new uh, a lot of these uh, bank and government owned homes don't exactly smell like their new homes but this definitely has a good clean smell to it as we come in we have a choice to go left or right and left here we have a nice wide open family room. The Berber carpet in here is actually in excellent condition. And we've got a gas log fireplace, a little niche there for your flat screen. Good natural light comes in through the front windows. We also have two ceiling fans in place here in this room, move the air around very nicely. Here to the right, we have our open kitchen and of course a little dining area here with a nice window looking out over the backyard. The flooring here is uh, linoleum. It has kind of a, a natural uh, granite type look to it, but it is linoleum. We also have a powder room that is right here. The countertop is a high definition laminate and it uh, has hues of green, tan, and dark green in it. Of course, if that was not to your liking, uh, countertops are fairly inexpensive to switch out uh, with an alternative high definition laminate countertop or even granite. And there are a number of color choices that would look great in this kitchen. We also have a pantry here for additional food storage, nice and convenient. This is definitely a nice modern floor plan with this home only being four years old. And a one car garage. We do have an electric water heater there in the corner. Naturally 200 amp electrical. A modern service obviously since this home is relatively new. And we have a pedestrian door which is convenient in order to go out the side. And lastly we have a garage opener. So all you have to do is just pull right on in, hit your opener, and uh, stay out of the elements. One other thing about this home is we do have a electric range, microwave, and dishwasher that convey. The only thing you would need to bring with you is your refrigerator. There is a connection there already for an ice maker, so it's ready to go. We also are pre-wired for an alarm system. Uh, as you can see, we've got the keypad here in the kitchen. As we transition into the formal dining room, the first thing that jumped out at me, we have a lot of detail here for a starter home. We've got a lot of uh, detailed woodwork, chair rail. The wood floors look absolutely great. There was not a whole lot of traffic in here. We also have a nice tray ceiling. Really nice upgrades in this formal space. And of course the windows out to the front let in a lot of nice natural light. This home just a few years ago was sold for just under $200,000. It's currently on the market for just over 120,000. So obviously the numbers definitely look nice on this. The mortgage payments on here would be just under $1,000. I'm not a mortgage professional, but I do know that there is grant money available and there are 100% financing products available. Check with your lending professional to double check and make sure that that is accurate. 
Okay, we come up to the top of the steps. We have our master. We also have a, another tray ceiling, a ceiling fan here in the master bedroom. The carpet in here, actually with a good steam cleaning, I think would be salvageable. If not, just a simple remnant would definitely work in this room. Nice walk-in closet. This is probably about eight feet deep for your storage needs. And we have an ensuite master bath, double vanity. We've got linoleum floors that look great. Nice garden tub, soak in there after a long, hard day at work. And of course we've got our shower. Actually, it's fairly clean too. Some of these back on homes, it looks like somebody was cleaning auto parts in them, uh, but this one looks pretty good. Okay, as we go down the hall, to the right we have our hall bath. It's got a little bit of a smaller vanity and tub shower enclosure. We actually have a little light over top. So that is nice, get some natural light in the hall bath. Here to the left, we have our hall linen closet, conveniently located directly across from the hall bath. This is the largest of the bedrooms other than the master. And we've got three windows in here, so plenty of light, a ceiling fan, of course, and we have a closet that has a window in it. Uh, this is actually a walk-in closet on a secondary bedroom, which is very, very nice. Uh, super convenient. Would definitely need to um, probably replace the carpet in here, but we're not talking a whole lot of carpet at all. Actually, the paint in here looks good. The paint in most of the house looks fine. So this is pretty much a move-in ready house. Um, very, very good condition. And once again, it is only eight years old. This is another of the secondary bedrooms. Uh, we've got a ceiling fan here and of course a pull down attic. And then we go down the hallway a little bit more. To the left we have laundry. And this is super convenient because obviously your bedrooms are all on the second floor. So your laundry is conveniently located on the second floor as well. Don't have to lug laundry up and down the steps. Okay, and this is our final bedroom. This is on end of the house. We've got a closet here. Uh, this would be a great child's room or a study or a storage room. Uh, also have two windows here uh, on the side and on the front. So good natural light once again in this room. A lot of ceiling fans in this house, by the way. I think I've already counted like five ceiling fans. So they were really into fans uh, when they designed this home. All right, we're going to go on back downstairs. As I said earlier, my name is Max Williams, and I like to come into these homes, get an idea of what they are like and bring them to you so you can get the floor plan, see how the home flows, and a transparent view of the home. I'm gonna point out the good and the not so good of all the homes that I tour, so you get a true idea of what they are like. This home definitely is priced to sell, and I um, definitely think that at this price, it won't be on the market very long at all. And in fact, we just had a gentleman just pull up and take a look. He's an investor and I know him, so kind of a small world. Okay, from the rear, we've got a good looking, low maintenance exterior here. We've got, of course, a nice size deck, especially for a $122,000 home. Uh, the back is kind of unusual because we have kind of a, a side street that's in the rear and we've got a couple of houses behind. So kind of an unusual layout. I'm gonna go up the hill here and give you an idea of what it looks like here from the side. Uh, you may notice the roof, the shingles are dimensional shingles. They're also known as architectural shingles. Uh, it's a higher quality shingle that has a longer lifespan than a typical builder grade 20, 25 year shingle. Uh, I like to see those because that means it is a higher quality product that's gonna last a little bit longer. The builder definitely did not take the cheapest route as far as the sh single sh shingle selection. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Okay, and of course, there's a pedestrian door that we saw a little bit earlier. Uh, at 122.5, uh, this is definitely a, a good value. I can say that, uh, hands down, 
that uh, this home will probably sell fairly quickly. If you have any questions about this or any other bank or government owned home that's on the market, feel free to give me a call. My name is Max Williams and I can be reached at 402-7788. If this one is not quite right for you, still give me a call. Love to put you on my list and as soon as these bank and government owned homes hit the market, they'll immediately be emailed to you. My experience has been sometimes the first person to see these homes are the ones that have the ability to move quickly and take advantage of the good deals. Max Williams, 402-7788, richmondhouseinfo.com. Thanks so much for taking the tour with me. I hope you have a great day. Look forward to speaking with you soon.